welcome to episode one of Science at Home with Mr. Hall. My goal with this series is going to be to uh, find household items, things that you, you and your children can just dig up at home and we'll do science with them. So today's lesson is going to be on center of gravity. So for this, you're going to need two forks of the exact same size and model. Um, and you'll need a toothpick and maybe, if there's an adult present, a lighter. And you'll also need a, a glass with sides that flare out like this, so it doesn't have to be a certain color or anything. So, first thing you're going to do is take your two forks and, and put them together like this. Now you do have to be careful that you don't jab your fingers when you're doing this. That's the only real danger of this. Alright, so once the forks, once you get the forks to go together, like this, they should be pretty tight together. See that? And then put it on your finger like this and see if you can make it balance. So then you take a toothpick and you put it right where you think that balance was. And you jam it right in there. And again, be careful that you don't jab yourself. You have to do it kind of carefully or you'll break your toothpick. So you jam it in there pretty good. Now, take these forks and see if you can balance it on the edge of the glass. It's going to take a little bit of practice to get it right. Almost. There. Alright. So now you have the forks are balanced right there. Now here's the trick to it. Here's the final trick. If you have a parent present that can use a lighter, you make sure that it is a parent, not a, a child doing this, you're going to light the end of this on fire. So let's watch this happen. Also make sure your smoke detector is not right above when you're doing this. Now, as you can see, these forks are balanced right there on that tiny little piece of wood on the edge of the glass. This is a lesson in center of gravity. So these forks have found their center of gravity right here. Center of gravity is what makes you able to stand. So if I'm standing like this, my center of gravity is right down the center. But if I lean over to grab something, I'll probably put my leg out so I don't fall forward because it changes my center of gravity. My arm and my leg balance it out. So that's what's happening here with these forks as well, is they found their exact center of gravity right there. So try it at home. Um, comment on the video. Tell me what other kinds of center of gravity tricks you can do. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.